Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Preston Caravans and Motorhomes just outside of Preston. It's somewhere I have filmed before back in 2018 and 2019 and I'm back today to film some two birth swift caravans. The caravans we're going to be looking at today, just you and me, are this one behind me, the Swift Conqueror and a Swift Challenger. So if, if you are interested in a two birth caravan, this could be the vlog for you. So what do we need to know? Let's have a look. As I say, this is the Swift Conqueror, it's the 480 and the Conqueror is almost near the top of the Swift range with Elegance being the very top with their 8 foot wide models. This caravan, it is on the Alco chassis and it is normally £32,500. This model here at Preston is currently at 29270 so let's get some facts and figures because we all like those. Size wise, it's a compact caravan, obviously is a two berth. It's six metres and 59 centimetres or 21.7 feet. And it's 2.28 metres wide, which is seven feet and six inches. Payload, good payload on it and MTPLM is 1,477 kilos. So if you've got a smaller tow car, this will be suitable for most. Let's see what we are getting. So front near side, we have got here our Truma gas point there for barbecuing. We've got a locker box that's going to be under one of the front sofas. We have here an aerial socket and 12 volt. And then here we've got our 230 hookup for our electrics. On this Swift, we do get 14 inch alloy wheels, as we can see there. The sides are white, but it does have quite a long band of silver. And then with the blue decals, the awning light is just up there. So you do get the awning channel and light. And the door on this 480 is situated to the rear of the caravan, as we can see here. We'll just have a little look around the back because I always like to have a look at the uh, tail lights. So we'll venture around the back and have a look here. So it is a one piece white. We do have um, preparation for a bike rack, which the Swifts, that's a common factor on the Swifts. The light cluster, I like this black decal here, as we can see, the Swift badge. And we do, as well as the two lay bike preparation, have a high uh, um, brake light as well. Down the off side, so here we've got a toilet cassette point and you can see here we've got the flush for the uh, toilet flush and then we've got the Dometic vents. So from the off side, we know when we go inside, we're going to find the uh, taller tower Dometic fridge and freezer. Again, I like a larger fridge and freezer. Let's just have a quick look down the off side of the caravan so what we do find is we've got a vent there for the alder so we know it's got the wet central heating we've got an external shower we've got our water point for connecting up our aquarel and uh, water pump we've got another locker box and what we are finding up here as well if you can see just up there we've got a second light a service light the good thing about that is when you arrive on the pitch in the dark or on a darker morning, you can turn that light on and you can actually see the services for connecting up the water and what have you. So those are useful. And you do normally find those just on the higher end models, which obviously the Conqueror is. Right, let's dive in. So as you can see, I haven't got myself a step, so I'm just going to have a, a big leap in. Start here with the door. It's a one piece door. It's not a stable door. We have got a window in it though, and we've got a nice little fixed bin. I'll climb in. Right. So this is nice. Although um, it's a two berth caravan without a fixed bed, we are getting plenty of space in here. So let's have a look. Sorry, I just gave you a wobble there. Let's start here. So we've got a nice sunroof and then this huge sunroof here, letting in lots of light. Then we've got our front windows and these good sized sofas. There is a chest, so there's a pull out table there and a little bit of storage underneath. On this model, we are getting a tracker and an, um, an Alco wheel lock. So the sofas, I'll just go through some sizes so you know if you're considering whether this would be suitable. So this converts into a front double, so you can convert this into one large double, which would be six foot seven by six foot one, or these singles, 
would be this one here would be five foot eleven long by two foot two wide and this one here would be five foot seven by two feet two wide now personally if you're wanting to use those as singles five foot eleven is not long and two foot two is not wide I'm a little bit disappointed on those for the, the sort of speck and the top end of the caravan if you want to use it as a big bed then you're fine that is huge so just put, consider that if you want to use it as singles so the actual sofa cushions these are nicely bolstered a gray fabric and then we've got some gold and almost a, a bluey green color cushion up front we've got various lights we've got some usbs here and then a light switch there these walls are quite nice they've got like a padded and a suede effect we've got various little under lights let's just have a look and see what we're getting as storage so we've got a little a little cubby hole there and then we've got several good size lockers as well we are also getting a Kenwood sound system within the um, Conqueror you can see the little speakers there and cupboards again there so that is the lounge area and one thing i do like as well is we're getting the pleated blinds as well good amount of floor space and some um i wonder if these pull open or whether let's just have a look oh i won't i won't yank too hard there we go that one comes open so storage under the seating as well right we'll move down so we now turn ourselves around and in this two berth we've got a really good size kitchen area and then we've got this part here which has got worktop space and cupboard space to be honest um i'm not entirely sure why they haven't made this bed a bit longer as a single and taken away some of this that that would have made a little bit more sense but there's obviously a reason but that's just what I would maybe have considered. Let's start in the kitchen though. So we've got a flap here to give us extra worktop space. This is almost like a, a beige colour. Good size round bowl sink. Large tap and that does swivel. We've got two plug sockets. The light switch. We've got a nice splashback and there is lighting underneath here. I can't turn that on because I haven't got a battery connected moving across let's start upwards so we've got good size cupboard microwave at a really good level as well it is just over the sink but that's at a good level even for small people like myself and then another good storage cupboard there coming down now we've got a thetford gas oven and grill now the good thing is we've got an electric plate and we've got three gas burners Again, something that I prefer, so that suits whether you're on electric or off-grid. And then good size grill and oven. There's a little bit of storage under there. And then we've got this really good size drawer. I do like this. We've got cutlery room there and other bits and pieces there. And it is soft clothes as well. That's really nice. Let's have a look under. So we've just got a little bit of cupboard space under the sink. And that one too oh that's nice so we've got our drain storage for our draining board i don't know if you can see it that's the large swift draining board and then a pull out rack you know i like a pull out rack and we're getting that as well however you know thirty two thousand pounds recommended retail you do want to see some little extra features i'll just move across this way so we've got the dometic tower fridge and freezer this is the one that opens on both sides so if I open that up, it gives you an idea of the size of it. We've got a, a large, um, I don't know if I can do it with this hand. No, I can't with one hand. We've got a large freezer compartment. Um, we've got the shelving, the salad tray at the bottom. And then there is obviously shelving on the door. Really good size Dometic tower fridge and freezer. A little bit of storage just below it there. I'll come round to this side now, to this sort of um, worktop space. So on here, this is where you're going to put your television. You can see we've got a plug socket, 12 volt and the aerial there. There's some light switches and another plug socket just there that you can see. 
So here we've got the shelving, we've got the worktop space where your telly will go and then we've got a few pull-out drawers and some cupboards as well. So we do get plenty of storage. It depends how much space you want to take, stuff you want to take with you I suppose. Let's have a look under here. Oh that's nice, so this is probably where you're going to put your clothing. We've got a nice drawer there for probably probably underwear. See I've already packed the cupboards, I always do that. When, when I do a review, I always sort of think where I would be putting things. You, you can put things where you want, but that's sort of how I see it in my head as to how I would use the space. So that's possibly what that would be. Um, we've then got this sort of little glass cabinet thing here. That's um, obviously for bottles if you wanted some nice bottles or something. Um, let's have a look under there. Yep. Yeah more shelving and storage and then we've got a couple of lockers above as well so in there you've got your um, sergeant coming in the radio dab and in this one that's an empty one for your bits and pieces this is sort of a white finish and then a gold uh, strip there above the door that's where you're going to find your alder panel and the swift control panel as you come in there was a mirror there we go somewhere to hang your coats it's always handy to be fair and then we've got this door that's going to take us into the bathroom again a bit of the gold trim there let's venture into the bathroom wow okay so we've got this big big mirror that we can see so large mirror we've got a toothbrush holder big tap same as the kitchen swivel tap there fairly small sink um yeah to get in with that you definitely have to move this tap um small sink but some space here let's have a look in these cupboards so underneath we've got some nice cupboard space there though I'll just close those up again and then coming round we've got the shower cubicle to the right so this is the left hand side of the caravan because obviously we're now in the back I like this lining we've got um, like a marble effect here then a grey we've got up there you can hang your towel when it's wet there's a little shelf just in there to put your toiletries your shower gels good amount of floor space plenty of headroom as well so that's the shower cubicle I do like that we've got a little hidey hole this could be a table I think yes so here in the bathroom we're finding um, where we can put our table which is there and then I'll move us around so here we've got a little bit of shelving we've got a hook there for our towel we've got a toilet Thetford swivel we've got toilet roll holder we've got an, uh, the Alder wet central heating radiator and the big wardrobes this is where you're going to put your main clothes and um, we've got a rail there the header tank for the alders in there there's some more shelving just pull that across a little bit and you can see the amount of storage you're going to get so i'll just come back out so that is the bathroom i like that there's plenty of floor space for getting changed then when you close this door and look down into this two berth again there's plenty of floor space as we can see here and it is a nice light and airy caravan if i again just um hold the camera so you can see um there is plenty of room in here the only thing i'm a little bit disappointed with if i'm honest is the fact that that, that single bed is quite small right I've gracefully alighted from the Conqueror and we're now going to whiz down and have a look at the Challenger so we can make a comparison because the comparison is obviously that the Challenger is the um, a slightly lower model and it's not entry level if you're on entry level you can have a look at the Sprite Alpine 2 this one is sort of mid-level but it's below, below um, Conqueror so let's have a look so here we go this is the Challenger 480 SE. So what do we need to know about it? Well, this one is 26 and a half thousand pounds. So quite a bit less than the um, Conqueror. It is on the Alco chassis. This is 6.65 meters long or 21 feet and 10 inches. It's seven feet and four inches wide. 
and it has an empty PLM of 1,405 kilos. So it weighs a little bit less um, than the, less, the last one we've been in. Let's see what we're going to be getting. So let's start down here. Very much like the um, Conqueror, we've got the gas point, we've got the locker, we've got the 230 volt, we've got the um, electric and aerial, we've still got the alloy wheels. I'll do my best to show us round the back, unfortunately I can't, I could probably squeeze there but, but I won't. Um, we've got the bike rack again and very much a similar, similar back end. So externally I'll, I'll just see whether I can get us round this other side here. So if we just come through here, ah there we go, right that mooing is not me that, that those are cows by the way so that's challenger again at the front this also has the alder wet central heating we can see the alder there we've got an external shower the water um, water flow there for your pump and we can see the double dometic vents right i'll get away from the road because it is really really loud um, and let's go and have a look at how this compares. So let's venture in. So again, we've got a one-piece door, slightly different style, but we do still have a bin. In we go. Right, here we are. So this is a little bit different. The fabric on here, this is um, more of a, an oatmeal-y colour is maybe the word I'd use to describe it. We're getting green pillows. We've got some tartan and we've got some gold and again sort of gold curtains. I'll step back and let the camera just adjust so you can see what it is I'm sort of talking about there. So if you're wondering about the bed size on this one, now this is a little bit different. So this is an improvement to be honest. On this one, on the Challenger, it converts into a large double bed which is going to be six foot eight by six foot one or the singles you can have them as six foot four by two foot four or six foot one by two foot four. So what does that mean? That means they're a lot longer basically. If you wanted to use this two berth as singles this would be better if you're taller than the last one we looked at, the Conqueror. Um, so let's have a look around see what we're getting in this model at 26 and a half thousand. So in the Challenger as I say we've got these two long sofas and these are good size. We have still got a table here. It's a little bit more basic than in the last one, but you still get the idea. We've got a nice pull-out table for eating at there as part of the chest. At the front, we've got a socket and an aerial point there. And on this side, we've got a 12 volt and some USBs. We do still have little lights and the cupboards are basically identical. These are more of a, I'd say that's almost mocha or latte or something, but more of a mocha colour. So these, again, are identical really to what we have just seen. It's just the finish is not quite as luxurious. We've still got this great big window though. I won't go through all the cupboards again on that side because we did see them in the other one. So turning back into the kitchen. So the kitchen is basically identical. We've got um, a flap still here for extra worktop space. We've got, this is a different finish though. I actually think I quite prefer this colour to what we've just seen um, in the um, Conqueror. We've still got that really nice pull out there. Will we see the baskets? Mm, could be a no. Oh no, we do. Oh, that's really good. So you're still getting the pull out baskets because sometimes they save that feature just for the top end. So that is good. Um, we've still got the Thetford with the same electric gas. We've got the same microwave. We've got the same big Dometic tower fridge freezer. The same, as we can see there, same mirror. What is different here is, although you've still got your place there for the um, television as you can see we don't have that extra part on there and this just does look a little bit more basic this is quite an open space I think I've got a bit of a if I'm absolutely honest I'll be, I'll, I will be honest because you know I always am 
I'm a bit confused about what you're going to do with this because unless you like putting loads of little knickknacks out, which I hate them to be honest, but if you do, fine. If not, you've lost you've lost a lot of space here for shelving, and I, I don't know what you're going to do with it. Again, I think I'd I'd rather have seen something else, like a long I don't know something. I'm just a little bit not so sure on that. That is probably the only thing I'm I'm left wondering. They've wasted some space, is what I'm saying. So that's that's that. Right, let's now venture back into the bathroom because I did like it um, on the Conqueror. So let's see what we're getting in here. Again, really good size mirror. I do like a big mirror because one, you can look at yourself, but it makes it everything look bigger as well. So that's nice. We've got the shower on the near side, the left hand side of the caravan. Again, we've got this nice, these are nice. I do like these. This is finished well, a good size, really good size cubicle, a slightly different shower gel holder. Still got somewhere to put your towel up there. Good size floor in the bottom. Here, this is a little bit more basic, but we've still got the Alder heater. We've just got one cupboard here. I'm not entirely sure how you, how you get into that. It's obviously idiot proof. Hence, I can't get into it. Oh, there we go. It's a push one. So, a little bit of storage there. So, if you get one, you just give it a push, you know now. We learnt that together. Somewhere here for your towel, your toilet roll. A little bit of shelving there. And if we come in here, these going to push open. There we go. Just to take a bit of a push. In here, several shelves. And let's push those two. Again, we've got the Thetford swivel toilet, good amount of floor space and a wardrobe that's here. This, the wardrobe is on, so the wardrobe is on the off side of the caravan, the right hand side, because obviously I'm currently facing to the back. We find the aerial coming in here and the Alder header, a rail there, a good amount of wardrobe space and some good deep shelving units as well. I like that, so perfect for storage. I'll just close that up. Um, we have got the secret compartment for the table in this one as well. You can just see that there. It's a little bit tight. If you've got a big arm, you may, you may struggle to wedge it in. But that is the bathroom on this 480. So exactly the same layout, just sort of a specification lower. Um, so there we go. I'll close that. I'll just give us one more spin round and then we can... Again, just see the living space. It's, it is a spacious two berth. These are not small, small two berths, I must say, because um, obviously with two berth caravans, you can get some really small ones. This is a good size and it is a good use of space. There is everything on here that you're probably going to need. Um, you've got the Alder heating, you've got that big tower fridge freezer. Both of these Swifts appear reasonably well equipped. Um, the colour schemes, uh, they seem to be going very much on the gold. I've noticed that. If you like gold, you'll be well away. Um, th the only question I've got is over this space here and what they've done with that. But you might love it. So there we go. That was a very brief look at a Swift 480 on Challenger and Conqueror. If you're interested in those, I'll put links to websites and everything down below. Thank you to... Preston Caravans for allowing me to come and film. I do really appreciate it. I've not been here in a while and it is nice to be back. So links to everything are below. Any questions, bob them in the comments. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.